welcome to my channel where we're all about systems, self-care, and stability. So if you are new here, welcome. It's such a pleasure to meet you. And if you are an oldie but goodie, welcome back. I'm glad you're here this week. So in today's video, it's going to be a little different. I'm actually going to show you how I reset my guest room. So if you're into that type of thing, hang tight. But not only that, also because the seasons are changing, I also want to share with you a little story time about change. And sometimes our biggest biggest and greatest blessings are just on the other side of fear. So if you're into that thing, don't touch that dial. Stay right here and let's get into this video. Okay, Queen, today's video is going to be like a podcast as you watch me reset my guest bedroom. I've done a video like this before, so go back. I'll link it below. Let's check it out. Let me know if you like this type of style. But in this episode, it's all about embracing change and how a big decision like moving from the city to the suburbs was so scary for me, but it also has been life changing. I can't wait to share my personal experience with you. Change is constant and sometimes it's the very thing we need to grow and thrive. So let's dive right into it. Change often comes with uncertainty and the fear of the unknown, but it's essential to remember that change is good. It's an opportunity for growth, learning, and new experiences. Moving from the bustling city to the serene suburbs was a big change for me but it turned out to be a life-changing decision. There were several reasons behind my decision to move to the suburbs. Firstly, I was craving for more space. My office was half of my master closet and the kids didn't have a yard to really run around and be kids. Me and my husband both grew up in the country, so being outdoors was becoming a craving now that our kids were older. And not to mention the constant noise, traffic, and stress was becoming a bit overwhelming. I craved a more peaceful and tranquil environment. Secondly, in order to get this quote unquote yard <laughs> that we were quite craving along with my husband wanting a basement because he told me he was not moving unless we found a house with a, ba with a basement, it wasn't really looking good for our budget in the city and the pickings were, let's just say, very slim. They were like slim to none. We actually put in an offer for a few houses and we got outbid. So moving to the suburbs not only offered a more affordable lifestyle, but it also allowed me to invest in a place that we are now calling our forever home. Now let's talk about the positive changes that come with the move. One of the most significant advantages was the sense of community. As I stated before, my husband and I come from a very small town it's very small like don't do nothing because everybody know your mom and your dad and in the suburbs people just seem to know each other and the warmth and friendliness were just palpable my kids made friends in the neighborhood right away because I guess people are just really outside <laughs> another positive change was the connection with nature I'm just surrounded by so much greenery and open space. Um, it reminded me so much of my childhood. Even walking on my back patio deck reminded me of walking on my mom's back patio deck. So of course, I'm spending more time there. And even picking up the basketball was an eye opener, y'all. It's been a while. Not sure if y'all know, but I played basketball all my life up until college. I had a basketball scholarship. And let me tell you, it's been a while. And the fresh air and natural beauty had a tremendous impact on my overall well-being. Moving to the suburbs also improved my work-life balance. I think with the extra space and me having my own quote-unquote room as an office and not a closet, well half of a closet, 
um, I just didn't feel so restricted in a small area. I found myself more focused, productive, and creative at work. This newfound balance allowed me to dedicate more time to hobbies, family, and self-care. Adapting to change isn't always easy. Initially, I had um, my doubts, and I did, and I do, (laughs) miss certain aspects of the city. But over time, because it has been um, a year and a half, I've embraced the opportunities that the suburbs has to offer. I've joined local events, made some new friends, and explored nearby attractions. So to sum it all up, change is an integral part of life's journey, as we know. My decision to move from the city to the suburbs was undoubtedly a turning point in my life. It taught me to embrace change, be open to new experiences, and appreciate the little joys that come with it. If you're considering a big change in your life, I encourage you to just take the leap of faith. Remember, change is good, and it might lead you to a more fulfilling and happier life. And over here, we're all about designing the life that you want. So... Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring content. As always, stay positive and embrace change, and if you like this video, queen, girl, I'm sure you'll like the next one. Okay, bye for now. Also, let me know if you like this bedroom refresh. Basically, I had some guests over and I just wanted to kind of reset the room. So I guess I shouldn't call it a refresh. Maybe a reset would be a more appropriate word. So let me know in the comments. How did you like it?